former President Donald J. Trump at a rally in Durham, N.H. Last week, his political opponents have tried to keep him out of the 2024 presidential election. Citing the 14th Amendment, Colorado's Supreme Court ruled Tuesday former President Donald J. Trump should be impeached again for engaging in insurrection through his actions that led to storming of the Capitol on Jan. 6. This is an explosive decision will likely reveal basics. The Colorado Supreme Court became first fined that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment which disqualifies people who rebel against Constitution after taking an oath to support it, applies Mr. Trump. This is a claim also made by his opponents. I was doing it across the country. The order directs Colorado's Secretary of State to remove Mr. Trump's name from the state's Republican primaries. It does not address the general election. We recognize the magnitude and weight of the questions before us now. Equally, we are aware of our solemn duty implement law fear, without favor, and being influenced by public reaction to the decisions that law obliges us make. Mr. Trump's campaign immediately said it would appeal decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. It was a possibility that Colorado justices foresaw by delaying their decision until January. Although Tuesday's decision applies to only one state, it could force the nation's highest court to decide the issue for all 50 states. It's very difficult for me to understand how they wouldn't acknowledge this. Because this certainly seems like one of those questions that requires a national solution, said Anthony Michael Kreese, a law professor at Georgia State University who has followed the issue closely. He followed the Colorado case and related cases across the country. If justices take up case, it would be added to a host of other issues they have agreed or are likely to rule on regarding Trump, including whether he is immune from criminal prosecution for actions he took in office and scope of obstruction charge. It is at the center of his Jan. 6 federal trial. The U.S. Supreme Court has a 63 conservative majority. The three justices are appointed by Mr. Trump himself are currently under extraordinary political pressure and scrutiny, both for their decisions the justices' ethics. Risks Bush v. The Supreme Court is once again being pushed toward center of U.S. presidential election, said Richard L. Hasten, an election law expert at University of California, Los Angeles, who compared it to Gore case. Unlike 2000, however, general political instability in the United States now makes situation much more unstable. In Colorado court's lengthy decision Tuesday, justices reversed a Denver district judge's finding last month that Third Amendment does not apply to presidency. They also confirmed the district judge's other key conclusions that Mr. Trump's actions before Jan. 6. 2021, and on Jan. 6, 2021, constituted an act of insurrection, and that courts have the authority to enforce Sec. 